Hello, it's Leanne Peters here. I'm just uh, in a couple of minutes early, so I'm just going to go and grab my drum, get set up, and then I'll be ready to start. So just bear with me a moment. Hello again. Okay, so let me just get my things together. I trust you're feeling good. You're probably only watching, or you're probably watching the replay, if you can hear me. <laughs> um, so let's just get a few things together. We're going to be diving in deeply today. This is... Um, probably going to be a bit confronting. We're going to be doing some work on our ego. Hmm. So let me just test the drum here. And yeah, we're going to be doing lots of drumming. Hello, Anita, lovely to see you. Welcome everybody. Okay, how are we going for time? It's right on the dot of starting, so welcome. Welcome, welcome. So, this is our monthly healing event for some of my Temple of Balance patrons. So, um, on my Patreon, on Temple of Balance on Patreon, there are different pledge levels. So different uh, levels depending on how much you can afford or what you're inspired to level you're inspired to pledge at. So each pledge has a different reward, if you like. And one of the rewards, rewards, <laughs> uh, one of the pledge levels is to be on our healing list. Thanks, Anita. Um, is to be on our healing list. And these happen once a month, these healing events. No, it's not the replay, Alison. It's quite live. Hello. <laughs> It's live, we're coming in live right now. <laughs> um, so yeah, one of those kind of rewards at the pledge level is to be um, a part of this healing list. So I have 39 people on our healing list for this month. Um, I usually host them towards the end of the month so that we can catch any new people that pledge throughout the month. Um, so that's that. So I am connecting with specific people today. 39 of you. So thank you so much for your support. I've got you in my <laughs> my funny little dolphin pottery uh, candle holder that I made several years ago. So I've got all of your names in here. Hello, Gail. Um, and I'm going to work with you shortly. So what we're going to be doing is having a focus around some deep healing we're going to be looking deeply at the ego now the ego to me is the voice of our hurt and pain so our ego is that part of us that wants that throws a, a blanket of doubt over things that we might want to do it's that part of us that feels resistant or scared to step into something new um, it's a part of ourselves that might be seeking attention or wanting to feel important or wanting to um, be on an, a bit of an ego trip where we might think that we're something special and um, perhaps, I'm just looking at the cat, she's doing some weird things. Um, oh, this is live on YouTube, not on Facebook. So you might be watching on Facebook if you can access the video there, but this is live on YouTube. Um, so the ego has been coming up quite loud for a lot of us over this last day or two so I felt it was really important and I actually pulled a healing energy card before I, when I was preparing this morning which was the self-confrontation card which I've put back in the deck now but um, that also aligns with the ego so I knew straight away that we need to do some deep healing today so that's what we're going to be doing um, what I would really love to help you feel is more courage to push through that D what about ourselves or our own ego is holding us back? What about our own life is holding us back? And what can we do about shifting that so we can get further into alignment with who we are? Which means improving ourselves, improving our life. If we're always listening to our hurt, 
we're always listening to our wounds and letting that take over and rule our life, then it's going to be very difficult to feel like we're, we can improve much. And if we are improving, it's probably just short-lived. Hmm. So let's let yourself be confronted. I'm not going to be glossing over anything today during this healing time. I'll be here for about an hour, by the way. Um, so I don't want to gloss over things. I just want to um, be upfront. I want to be um, brutally honest with how I feel. And if something stirs up in you about that and you're confronted by it, please don't run. Or you have a choice. You can run and you can hide. You can turn it off and you can go and um, watch some TV or something and distract yourself. But what I would really encourage you to do is if you feel confronted by anything that comes up, even if you... It's not something that's said, I might be drumming and you might feel like really um, start feeling a bit anxious. You might start feeling a bit sick, a bit nauseous. There's something probably that's stirring up about your ego, your shadow side, your hurt and pain. That's feeling confronted. Um, but that's a really normal feeling to help push us through that confrontation, push us through the resistance and into our freedom. So my intention today... I need to put this paper somewhere in my line of sight. Um, my intention today is to smudge, smudge with my sage smudge stick. So I'm going to do that first to prepare us. I want to pull a healing energy card while I'm sitting here in this healing space. Then I'm going to, uh, we're going to, um, I'm going to say everyone's name, pull all the people on our healing list out of my little dolphin bowl and into my big singing bowl. So I'm going to put you all in there. Um, I think, well, I'll let you know what I'm going to be doing with you <laughs> when I get to that point. And then I want to spend quite a decent amount of time drumming. I want to really push this energy and push deeper into ourselves with the drum. So there'll be a lot of drumming. I'll definitely be using the big singing bowl at some point. Uh, so that's kind of my idea, my plan right now. Now, if you're not on my healing list, if you're not one of the people here, hi, spirited woman, if you're not one of the people here in my um, list, or on the healing list that's registered through Patreon, you can still receive healing energy just by being here. So just hold the intention. But this is specifically for the people on my Patreon healing list. So... Um, those of you who are on it, just take a nice big breath. Um, see if you can find courage to dive in with me into this healing time. We'll see where we go. I'm not afraid of looking silly. <laughs> oh, hi, Elaine. <laughs> it's funny. I have that too sometimes because my YouTube is Temple of Balance and then I'm like watching a, a, a brass band stream or something and commenting and <laughs> it's a bit awkward for those or the guy that's running it because he doesn't have a clue who I am. So thank you for letting me know your name. So I'm not afraid to look silly. I'm not afraid to push the boundaries myself because that's going to help push the healing too to deeper levels. So let's take this as deep as we can and have the courage to do so. So take off your shoes, get comfortable, grab your journal uh let's push through this uncomfortable time so the healing energy card we need to know in going forward is self-love so it's probably going to also be important for us to think about being kind and gentle to ourselves and um there's a feeling here of self-love actually coming up and this is one thing another or one of the many things uh that our ego our wounded self our shadow self whatever you want to call it does like to sabotage is how we feel about ourselves our own self-love our own self-acceptance so it's quite i don't know if i should say common but it's quite it's not uncommon <laughs> yes it's not uncommon for our wounded self to step forward and sabotage how we feel about ourselves to start or continue being self-critical, self-doubtful, um, not putting ourselves first, being hard on ourselves, um, doubting whether we can do something or not. So self-love is certainly a great playground 
for our ego. So this is, and the energy is actually picking up really quite high. Let's look within. Let's allow ourselves to receive and let's let ourselves connect with our own self-love. Let's let ourselves allow ourselves to love and accept who we are, what's and all. So self-love, something important to think about going forward. So let's do some smudging and then I will start, I will start our, our um, healing list. Let's just grab a little piece. My sage stick is at the end now, so I've just got a few little dregs. So take a nice deep breath and allow this sacred smoke to wash over your body and carry away with it all negative energies, entities, cords, hooks, attacks and attachments. And perhaps also ego, fear, shadow, anything that's hidden, anything that we've been avoiding. We ask this stuff to clear away from our space, our body, our heart, our mind, our life. So surrender it to the sacred smoke and feel it being carried away and washed away. We also use this time to call forward the great spirit, our God and goddess, all of our spirit guides, our angels, our ancestors, our power animals, our loved ones in spirit, our ancestors, all beings of the light and any other specific beings that you'd like to call upon or work with during our time together today, please call them forward now. We ask that they come forward and keep us safe and protected. But also we want to be able to work together with them to shift, really deeply shift and clear some stuff. We're not here to play around and shower love and light. I'm here to go deep today. So let's ask them to help us go as deep as we can. So thank you. Let's put this out. One good thing about having the dregs of a smudge stick, which is that falling apart, is it only takes a moment to light and it only takes a moment to put out. <laughs> when you're dealing with the big stick, it takes a well, it takes me a few minutes to get a light and a few minutes to put it out. Okay, nice big breath. I'm now going to put the big singing bowl on my knee. Let me lower this just a wee bit. Hello, Jane. Can you still see my head? Kind of. Okay, let's just um, sit here with this. This is my big singing bowl, which I'll just sound a couple of times. <laughs> to do is I've got all my 39 people from my healing list in this little dolphin bowl um, candle holder and it's a bit dusty and I'm going to okay I'm going to uh, as I pull each car uh, each person's name out randomly I'm going to visualize you releasing your uh, ego, your hurt and pain, your issues, your shadows, your challenges, all the stuff that falls under that umbrella, the stuff that you're struggling with, basically. I'm going to hold this intention uh, to help you let go two of your resistances to change, um, to help really get some energy shifting. So I might say a couple of words, but I really want to focus on the drum. So, okay, healing list people. First person is Kimberly Vaness. Okay, Kimberly, so holding the intention, <coughs> excuse me, holding the intention of releasing your ego, your fear, your resistances, your hurt and pain, the stuff that's holding you back now. Isabelita Rivera, visualizing you holding, uh, releasing what's holding you back now releasing letting go and I just feel like I want to sort of really gently just drop you into the bowl like as a release as a release and a willingness ja Janice Chalmers 
releasing your resistance and everything that's holding you back. Jane Larson, good timing. Take a big breath and releasing everything that's holding you back. So it is. And really opening to this, or opening to deep release today. Fiona Coughlin, nice big breath. And letting go of everything that's holding you back. Elaine, Elaine Thelen, nice big breath, Elaine. Let go of everything that's holding you back. Canty DV Wee Dad, being willing to let go. We've got Sarah Jones, nice big breath as you let go. It's like the wind just picks up. So opening, softening is really important to help push through this ego, hurt and pain, challenging sort of stuff. If we're holding on too tightly, it's not going to shift at all. So we need to be open and willing to uh, allow changes in. So Melissa Castillo, nice big breath. So you let go. Let go of everything that's holding you back. Loretta Martin, letting go of your fear, your resistances, your struggles. David Magnus, nice big breath. Let go, open, be willing to change. Christopher Regan, let love in, open your heart and let everything else go. Alison, nice big breath. <sighs> open yourself up, reconnect and let everything else go. Marguerite Pepper Brady, nice big breath. And let go. Gail McCoy. Nice big breath. Open your mind. Release your mental resistance. And let go. Raina Ortiz. Drop those. Drop those. I want to say drop those baggages. Drop, drop the baggage, drop those shackles and let go. Open up L, L Dubois. It's time to open up and be willing to let go of the past that's holding you hostage. Nicole Wiggins, nice big breath. It's time to dive deeply into the oceans of yourself. Have courage to dive in. Let go of the stuff that's stopping you from doing that. Martha Samuels, nice big breath. So you let go. And you let go all over the floor. Hold on, let me get you back again. Martha Samuels, letting go. We've got Andrea Stewart, nice big breath. As you let go of what's holding you back. Mary Ann Osius. I feel like cutting the old stuff down. I see you cutting down trees and trees and trees that don't need to be there. So cut things down, let them go, break them down. We hold more, we hold more in place than we probably realize, more of the stuff that we're resisting. Um, a lot of us, we just hold inside. We might have reasons why situations, past events, what happened to us, what didn't happen to us, that could be all quite valid reasons to hold ourselves back. But in truth, once time passes, we're holding ourselves back ourselves. So this is very much now about recognising what we need to release, what we need to open and change about ourselves and soften about ourselves so we can move forward and improve our life and really feel freedom and the healing that's taking place. Otherwise, we just won't feel it if we're holding on. So we can be our own worst enemy, really. So Bronwyn Usher. Bronwyn, nice big breath. And drop everything that's not aligned with your starlight. You're the star that you are. Let everything else go. Natalie Papp, release the shadows. 
the stuff that you hide, the stuff that's hidden in the shadows that you deal with very privately. Let the shadows go. Let the shadows come out so you can let them go. Have courage to face your shadows. Kimberly Revel, nice big breath. And it's time to dig out the, um, oh, what is it? The crusty, rotten, that's the word I'm looking for. The crusty, rotten parts of your life and parts of yourself. The rotten parts, let them go. They just toxic, tox, uh, create toxic energy of the rest of you. So let the toxic, rotten parts go. Leslie Lagel, let go. It's time for you to soar to new heights. Courtney Smith, let go and have courage to walk forward. Walk on, walk on. He's coming in. Tammy Dunn, nice big breath. So you let go and let your journey unfold. So this is very much about your life, li uh, your timeline, your life's path. Sandy Greenham, let the conflict go. Let the conflict go. There's no need to be at conflict or at war with yourself or anyone else or what happened with what happened. So let that go. Rebecca Ross. Rebecca. So what I'm feeling here is speaking your truth. So letting go of the words that you struggle to say. Breathe them out, express them in a different way than vocalizing. So let those unexpressed words go that you've been burying inside. Breathe them out. Pamela Floria, a nice big breath. As you pull out the weeds, let go. Avril Daly, Avril, you're moving to new heights too. So let your baggage go that's stopping you from moving and reaching new heights. Carol White. Carol White, let the illusion go. I'm seeing dragonflies around you, which to me is about shifting illusion. Stuff that's not true or doesn't resonate with your truth any longer. Um, I should have crouched down. Matthew Keith, nice big breath. It's time for you to let go and fly free. There's a heaviness there. So freedom, flying feels important. Radzi. It's time to accelerate. So let go, let the, turn, uh, release the brakes so you can accelerate. Susie Nichols. Susie Nichols. Open up and let love in. A love for life in. Chelsea Keith. Let the lights turn on in your life. Turn on the switch. The switch is there for you to turn on. The last three, we've got Charlie Ross. Charlie, believe in yourself. Oh, you nearly fell out. Believe in yourself, Charlie. Let your self-doubt go. Zena Baxmati. I see a new direction opening up for you. So open up to the new direction that's unfolding. Lucky last is Angie Griswold. Angie, nice big breath, please. Unpin yourself from the past. Okay, let's just sound this bowl for a moment and hold these intentions of preparing for... Um, releasing and healing time. As I said a couple of times, and I'm going to say it again, um, our biggest obstacle is holding on. Our own resistance, holding on to the fear, holding on to what happened, holding on to the idea that we can't improve, things won't change, um, that we're going to be struggling like this forever. These types of thoughts uh, or uh, attitudes uh, affect us from being able to move forward. So this I'm thinking of, and which is the reason why I chose this bowl too, is to help us all now open up, soften our resistances, and find courage to go deeper, 
but and the deeper is what we're going to do with the drum. So nice big breath while I sound the bowl for a moment or two for opening, releasing resistance, opening to the idea of improvement, a solution. your mind thoughts keep telling yourself that it is safe for me to let go or I am willing to change is one of the best affirmations I've found that really resonates with me maybe it might with you too maybe it might not but I am willing to change is a great way to push through resistance so open up breathe nice big breaths tell yourself over and over again I'm willing to change, I'm willing to let go, I let my resistances go, whatever you want to use. So, all of you, I'm going to sit you down here right in front of me. I'm going to grab my drum. I'm actually going to pull another healing energy card. This is great because this is now means that I'm going to be able to drum for a good probably 20 minutes now. And I just felt like I needed to do a lot of drumming. So as we prepare, <laughs> hold on, can I just move this up a bit? It feels weird having half a head. <laughs> Let's uh, pull a healing energy card now as we prepare to drum. Now this is the core part of our healing. Everything that we've done before this has been preparing for this. So I'm thinking this is probably going to be... Uh, um, Oh, just I really like the word harsh right now. This is going to be probably confronting, harsh, strong, sharp at times. It might feel uncomfortable in your body. That's why we are here. Or that's why I'm here. <laughs> I'll drag some of you along if you're on my healing list. But, you know, this is how we make um, important progress personally. And then that onflows into our life. So the best card to think about while we're drumming is this new vibration and this is perfect because this is what a lot of us have been craving wanting but um you know sometimes we can want something or want new doors to open want improvement in our life but if we're holding on to the old we can't ever quite reach that new door so as we've softened our resistance let the hold go and finding the courage to open the door we're actually getting closer to the new that wants to come into our life. The improvement, the solution, the good flow, the abundance, feeling better about ourselves and about our life and allowing ourselves to put the past behind us doesn't mean we're going to forget, and this is especially important if we're um, dealing with grief, that it's the hurt and the pain that's associated with that that we're wanting to release. And we can bring the beautiful memories like a photo album and sit it in our heart and carry those beautiful memories into our future. So to move on, to let go, especially if we're grieving, doesn't mean that we're going to forget. And I know that scares a lot of people, the idea of letting go in regards to grief. It doesn't mean we forget. We're not going to forget those people that we love. We can carry them always in our heart. We always will. But I think it's more about releasing the uh, the shackles, that the, the big ball and chain that we drag forward in our life from the hurt of what happened. So if we had the courage and could allow ourselves to cut those balls and chains free, carry the beautiful fond memories in our heart to make us smile and remember those beautiful moments and sharing our life with such a beautiful person then that will help us move forward too. So let's just do our best to find the courage to step into the new that's calling us, the new that we've asked for. We've asked for it. So now we just need to get out of our own way and have the courage to let the obstacles go so we can step into our freedom. I'm going to start, I'm going to use two um, beaters today. 
not at the same time. <laughs> I'm going to use my rattle one first, which is a rabbit's foot, and then my felt beater, which doesn't have a rattle. So I'm going to use the rattle one first. So you're going to hear a bit of rattling as I drum. The reason I'm doing that is to com create confronting energy because um, to help push to really push through and break these balls and chains to release more of that baggage that we've been carrying, to go deeper so we can bring those wounds to the surface so that we can heal them. So at some point, I'm going to stop using this rattle and it's going to go quiet. We might hold in that quiet because there's a lot of power in that silence in between drumming. And then I'm going to grab my other beater and start drumming again. So I'll be drumming for about 15 minutes or so. Uh, and it's a healing drum. I don't intend to talk, so let's just work with this together. So take some deep breaths. There's nothing you can do wrong. Just keep softening with your breath. Keep telling yourself that you're willing to change and let the drum um, access parts of your body where you've stored your hurt and pain. And I've got all of your names down here too, so I'm holding this intention for you as I drum. It's a nice big breath. It's probably going to be loud sometimes and it might rattle on the microphone. So um, I'm not going to um, be cautious just because of that. I want to really let loose and, and work with this energy. So nice big breath. Okay. Let's step into the unknown with courage. Let's face our shadow, our ego side, our hurt and pain with courage, willingness, and readiness. Let's do this, we're in this together.
Thank you. I trust you enjoyed that drumming. It's a lot of stuff shifted, I felt, with the rattle. And I imagined all of this energy coming out of you all sitting here in my, those of you on my healing list, in the bowl. Um, so I could feel all of this sort of tangled, knotty ball of twine sort of energy moving out of this bowl from you all. And then when I shifted and used the other beetle, oh, beetle, <laughs> when I shifted and used the other beta, um, it felt like there was a new leaf, like a turning over of a leaf, and that this was potential now to turn things around, to turn over a new leaf in your life and about yourself. So you can start putting um, the things that you see as flaws or your own insecurities, your own resistances or fear or the stuff from the past that you can really start putting the hurt of those things behind you and turn over the new leaf now, which then matches with our new our card too for drumming, which is new vibration. So this is bringing new energy into our life. It says grounding, connection. You are moving into a new vibration. It's time to nourish the new as it grows within you. I love the idea of that. So if we're all filled up with gunk, knotted up from our past and scared about whatever it might be that we're uh, dealing with, um, and we have these new seeds in us, but they've got no room to grow, as we clear that garbage out the weeds we make room for the new seeds to grow within our being you are the one who must follow through take action and do the nurturing so this is saying that there's new energy coming in but we are the ones responsible um, and responsible for doing the doing doing the deed um, taking the action to bring that new energy forward so i trust that um you feel a little bit freer and able to do that today. So, thank you. I'm going to pull another healing energy card to go. Um, so this has been a healing event which happens each month for uh, some of my Temple of Balance patrons, those of you on my healing list. So I'm going to go and pop um, all of you on my healing list. I'm going to go and dig you into my, my garden, um, down into the earth. Uh, when I'm finished this stream. So next month, um, there actually won't be a healing list event because um, just for June, we're having, instead of a couple of the healing events, there will be a chakra series that you can all access. So everyone who's actively a patron at the $15 level, actually at the $10 level or higher, will be a part or be able to access the chakra um, chakra series so that starts next Friday so keep an eye out for those on my Facebook page uh, Pillar of Light closed group it's only for Pillar of Light members so let me know if you're a patron a patron you had your name on the list today or and you haven't uh, joined the group yet so I'm now looking for the best healing energy card for our forward movement from here. So what do we need to know about what's next? What might be a good thing to focus on as we move forward? So our next healing list, similar to this healing list event, will happen in July. But anyone's welcome to register anytime you can participate in the Chakra series. We've got card 49, Truth. Thank you. Thanks, everyone. Truth. This is about cutting through the illusion, using our sword of truth, not to fight, not to keep the illusion and the hurt and the wounds in play, not to keep the battle and the war going. We're using our sword of truth to cut through the illusion and bring forth truth. So we could also look at this as saying, cutting out, uh, putting aside, banishing, <laughs> our ego, our hurt and pain, and letting love, truth, light shine through. Strength, warrior, courage, personal power, removal of illusion, fear, lies, deceit, and everything that's holding you back. Wasn't that what I was talking about at the very beginning? So this is, we're really coming back full circle now. Now it's about 
it might have been all nice to listen to this, hopefully. <laughs> but now the real core, um, the real um, benefit of what you've been connecting with comes from you implementing the changes in your actual life. So as you prepare to leave here and go back into your everyday life, it's now about, okay, what isn't working for me in my life? What am I holding on to? What am I struggling with? What can I learn from this? How can I release it? How can I move forward and align further with the truth of who I am? If you don't know who you are, that's probably another great place to start. Who am I? What are my likes? What are my dislikes? What do I love? What brings me passion? What am I inspired by? And this will help you get to know who you are. When you're more confident in knowing who you are, then you're going to know what your truth is. If you don't feel like you know who you are and you're just a mix match of what other people have told you that you are, then you're not going to know what your truth is. So I'd be starting by getting to know who I am if you don't know that. If you do, then access your truth now. Turn your truth detector on and use it to help cut away the illusion um, the stuff that's been holding you back. So that's the truth card. Very important in thinking about moving forward and focusing on what's next. So thank you so much everyone for joining me. Thank you so much for your support through Patreon and your support through my website. It helps me be able to do my work full time and I'm very, very grateful. I trust that you resonate with um, this healing event this month. And I look forward to sharing with you next month all months pretty much seven healing events based on the seven major chakras very exciting so if you uh, would like to be a part of that i highly recommend it just have a look on my patreon you can become a patron at the ten dollar pledge level or higher or you can become a pillar of light family member on my website so it's a about a ten dollar exchange for the whole month you can cancel after the month if you want to but you also receive lots of other great things which you might find supportive and inspiring so thanks so much for sharing oh thanks for being here thanks for sharing your space and your time with me and have a great rest of your day and i'll chat with you again sometime soon Thank you. Namaste. I tell you what, it feels great having a big drum. It feels great drumming like that. I have to do that a little bit more often. So thank you. Namaste. Bye.